Palawan Bearcat for the scientific team of Arctic Big to Rock. They have the face of a cat, the body of a bear, and the very impressive tail, much like a monkey paw. Now, with this tail, Teddy is capable of hanging from branches. So, Teddy, down, boy. Down, down, down. Time's up, folks. Never not pass Teddy. Alright, we are still working with wild animals, so any new smells or any new sights, they will be curious about and investigate it first. Now, once again, with this tail, Teddy is capable of hanging from branches. Good boy, Teddy. Now, folks, that tail can act as a fifth limb, meaning it is prehensile in nature. Oh, the definition of prehensile is being able to grab, or in short, kasinggaling lang ng ating mga kamay. Good boy, Teddy. An impressive tail as well. Now, I would like to direct your attention and to your right, and please help Welcome the older brother of Teddy, Nasi Uno. Now, uh, Uno is a bit more shy compared to Teddy, so let's just give him his time, okay? Now, with his hind legs, Uno is capable of standing up, and we will see why they have bears in the rain. And there it is, Paul, ladies and gentlemen. And if you notice, he uses his tail to balance himself as well. Good boy, uh, good boy Uno. Now, trivia time, ladies and gentlemen. Animals that walk on four legs four are called quadrupedal. Animals that walk on two legs are called bipedal. Now, if naka wheelchair sila, uh, PWD ang tawag na sila. Aha. Now, fun fact pala about Bearcats, ladies and gentlemen, their poop and their feet actually smells like fresh popcorn po. Of course, we don't recommend you smelling our Bearcats. Makambrasan pa mo, makasala pa mi. Wala po pang issue. But we promise you, ang kanilang tumi at kanilang paa smells like fresh popcorn po. So they are very pleasant smelling animals. Now, uh, Kuya Michael, ano yung pinakakain po? Saging daw, folks. Saging or a banana, which are fruits. So uh, let's see if the audience knows their bonus grade 6 questions sa exam. What do we call the animal that primarily eats fruits or prutas lang ang kinakain? Dili, very close. Uh, example na, wala. Okay, so let's go with something easier muna now. We all know animals that eat meat or carne are called carnivores, tama. Animals that eat herbs and grasses are called herbivores, tama. Animals that eat herbs, grasses, as well as meats are called omnivores, much like us humans, but we can be considered as omnivores. Now, one more time. What do we call the animal that primarily eats fruits or frutas lang talaga ang kinakain? Dili fruit salad po isa, pasensyahin lang na ang mga trainer na sobrang lang yung sila kung dahil sa mga ayaw pula. Wala, wala, wala. Ay, maka-answer. Kuya, nakalibay. Sige, wala, ikaw, 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 ikaw,